Pediatric acute onset neuropsychiatric syndrome A medical condition with many possible symptoms A misdirected response of the body's immune system Pediatric acute onset neuropsychiatric syndrome Um did a little little um did a little little um did a This autoimmune condition has many potential triggers Mycoplasma, Lyme, and mold, just a few to consider. Bartonella, Babesia, chemical exposure. If it triggers the immune system, it can tip the whole thing over. The body starts to attack itself and targets a part of the brain. It's called the basal ganglia, and now you know its name. The inflammation short circuits the body's nervous system, and it can cause a very wide range of potential symptoms. Um, did a little, little, um, did a lie. Um, did a little, little, um, did a lie. There's ticks and rage and OCD, anxiety and defiance. These kids aren't willfully bad, their brains just won't be compliant. Age regression, poor handwriting, suddenly can't do math. Things that once were easy now can be quite hard to grasp. It can be overnight onset or a slow steady progression. Relapsing and remitting with flares that come in succession. You can think of the brain like it's a computer that is broken. This condition can disrupt any neurological function. Of course, pandas is a type of pans where the known trigger is strep, and it is called pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder associated with streptococcal infections. But now it's understood that Lyme is more often the trigger than strep, so we can just use the umbrella acronym of pans that covers it all, don't you think? Indubitably. The good news is it can be treated and kids can get better. Learn the signs and symptoms and know this won't be forever. Please be extra kind to these kids, also to their moms and dads. They are in a living hell and they need folks to have their backs. Pediatric acute onset neuropsychiatric syndrome. A medical condition with many possible symptoms. A misdirected response of the body's immune system. Pediatric acute onset neuropsychiatric syndrome.